Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Now, first off I want to apologize because the original audio that I recorded for this gameplay, or for this episode I guess, um, when I was recording it, Audacity crashed. Um, uh, as soon as I finish, or as soon as I hit stop on the recording button, uh, Audacity crashed. Not quite sure why. Um, it has been doing that for a little bit. But, anyway, um, so yeah, this is going to be, uh, post-commentary, um, but in this episode we fight Capra, and then we get another Firekeeper soul to, um, upgrade our Estus flasks, which is borderline necessary if you want to, well, I mean, not really necessary, it's incredibly helpful. Um, so I felt like in this episode, uh, since I'm doing post commentary, I should talk about, or I should go back to the topic of what I was talking about in my Far Cry 3 video, which was why I'm not doing Black Ops 2 videos, or why I'm not doing, um, really not a lot of Call of Duty. Um, I know a Call of Duty before went up the other day, but that wasn't really the like, Um, it's, it's different. It's not like your, your normal multiplayer gameplay where somebody, uh, goes into domination or somebody goes into team death and they go 42 and 2, or they go 43 and 5 or something like that. Um, I just felt like it was different because, uh, a couple of months ago I really got into that game on the computer and I found a lot of really cool servers. Um, and I just felt like kind of publicizing some of those servers, so if you didn't know about the Call of Duty 4 mods, if you didn't know about uh, the zombies mode that people have made for Call of Duty 4, uh, well, after watching my video, then <laughs> now you know. Uh, but anyway, back to the topic. Um, today I'm going to talk about why I prefer some of the Call of Duty uh, in front of Black Ops 2. I'm going to start off with Call of Duty 4. Uh, a lot of the really good things about Call of Duty 4 is the maps. There are a few maps that kind of stand out to me as some of the more impressive maps that they made. And those would probably have to be uh, Countdown, Crash, and uh, Crash was actually featured in a map pack for Modern Warfare 2, um, which is kind of cool, because I guess that means that the people at Infinity Ward, or the people who made that map, liked it so much that they decided to kind of remaster it and bring it back for Modern Warfare 2, which is pretty cool, because I really enjoyed that map, and um, I definitely think they did a pretty good job uh, remastering it for Modern Warfare 2. Um, Another map that probably majority of people who have ever played Call of Duty 4 will know is Shipment. And that's the equivalent to Rust, except definitely a lot smaller. Um, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of fun things you can do on Shipment. Um, there's a lot of mods that you can get, uh, especially for PC, um, and that people have made. And there's a lot of really cool different game modes you can play with your friends, uh, on the console version even. Uh, that'll definitely make it a lot more fun. But right now we're going to I know people think that's cheating, and because uh, you can you can pretty much beat the game and then go back and put your summon sign down at like the Capra boss fight and just kind of one shot Capra. Um, but for me, the first time I played uh, played through the game, 
I died at Capra a lot because I didn't realize that once you go human, you can uh, summon other players to help you. So I definitely got uh, a little frustrated. Um, and then I watched another playthrough on YouTube and I followed that guy's advice and he told me to go human and summon a couple people to help me. And that definitely helped a lot. Um, but anyway, rambling now. Back to the topic. Um, a lo another really good thing about COD 4 is the guns. Um, there are a lot of uh, really well-balanced guns in that game, and there's a lot of... I mean, there's, there's not really a lot, but I think the only guns that I think would need work would be the shotguns. And that's kind of everybody... That's, that's Somebody really like a problem help with me. Call of Duty Damn. itself. I'm finished. Um, how did this ever happen? Shotguns have kind of been a sore spot. And, uh, it's either had the games either had really overpowered shotguns or brilliant. You really opened the door for me. Shotguns. Thank and you. And I think in this game they had I'm saved. quite underpowered shotguns. I thought I might never escape. Maybe the M10. I am Griggs of Vinheim, um, a sorcerer of the school. I, I am much ball. obliged for your assistance. Uh, Xbox, Thanks to you, I may now resume uh, my travels. I, it, it was it was really hard to get gold. Oh hello! Um, I have my sword. Besides, to get gold I have an important in task at hand. Uh, you have to get you have to complete. The so I had to get uh, it's either red tiger or blue tiger for that W twelve hundred, and then get red tiger and blue tiger for the M ten, and then you unlock the M ten gold, um, which. Now that I think about it, it's not that hard, but it's just that chance. Um, for different kills, but that's not really that hard, you just have to use it. Um, but other than that, I think the only overpowered weapon would be the M16. And I mean, not very many people use that gun that often anymore. Um, I know when the game first came out, people started realizing that the M16 was a really gun. More, and I think that's what turned people off in that game. But now, if you like, I was playing it the other day, and there really isn't too many people using it anymore. Um, it's definitely uh, not a. I don't know what the word is. Um, but yeah, not a lot of people use it. It's. They kind of forgot about it, I guess. Because there's a lot of other really well balanced guns and a lot of different fun guns that you can use in that game. Uh, one of my favorite guns in all of Call of Duty is the M4, and I think in that game they definitely nailed it right on the dot with that gun. Because um, M4 with red dot, you, you just can't beat it, <laughs> unless you're using an M16, and then you can get one burst to the foot and you'll die, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> um, I think now to the other side, um, the bad things about Call of Duty 4. Uh, one of the major complaints I have is the use of Juggernaut and Marty Dom. And, I mean, not everyone uses Juggernaut, but when you do come across someone that uses it, it's definitely really annoying. <laughs> Especially if you're using, like, a sniper, or, um, actually, no, I think the sniper is the only really reason that you would get pissed off, because you would get a hit marker from it, and you just get angry and quit or pull out one of your own glasses with Juggernaut and then everybody would start using Juggernaut and it would turn into Mono Warfare 2. <laughs> and I'll go into that when I talk about Mono Warfare 2 in a couple minutes. But the other thing is, um, back to the overpowered thing, that would be the only other problem I would have with COD 4, is that they have the M16 which is a very overpowered gun, but I guess as time goes on people kind of forget about it. And some of the other guns in the game, which is great. Uh, the less people using the M16 and the more people using like different varieties of guns, like submachine guns and even uh, like guns that are kind of undershadowed by all of the other assault rifles and submachine guns in the future Call of Duties, because I mean, nobody really looks to light machine guns as like, a primary weapon. They think of it as a more class that uh, kind of just like sprays and brays. But in COD 4, you don't really have to spray and pray for because it's really good. Um, that actually might be another technically overpowered gun. Because I'm pretty sure you can one or two shot, or not, like two or three shot somebody. 
uh, if you hit him with a chest or above. But, yeah. <laughs> um, other than those things, I think Call of Duty 4 was definitely a really good game. Um, if you have Call of Duty 4 for PC, I definitely recommend you looking online for some of the cooler servers that they have. There's a lot of really cool zombie servers. There's a few freeze tag ones. And I'm not going to tell you what that is because I'm going to go find out yourself. And if you don't know what it is, then you can run on YouTube and figure it out. Um, so yeah, on to Mono Warfare 2. Um, I think a lot of the good things about Mono Warfare 2 is the quick scope. I know a lot of people kind of hate the fact of quick scoping because they think it's cheap or they think it's annoying when people do it. But for me, I find it probably because I'm not going to say I'm the best. Um, but there are a few things that. Uh, are there. Quick scoping is one of the few things that I really like about that game. Um, another thing I really like about that game is the map. And I know that. Uh, I think actually Mono Warfare 2 is kind of the. Basically, you can Mono like the starting game that you would go with. Because a lot of people made montages. And Mono, since Mono Warfare 2 is the quick scoping, they recorded a lot of like, quick scoping. Uh, trick shot and montages and stuff and I guess that kind of got uh, some people started on YouTube. So, I mean, I guess it's not like a, a horrible thing to put scoping into that game. Um, but I definitely like it. And there are maps that I really enjoy in the game. I like sub base and wasteland. And wasteland's definitely a, a different <laughs> There are two different ways you can play Wasteland. You can play it the normal way, which is everybody using a variety of guns, including snipers, and, you know, assault weapons, and stuff like that. Or you can do what majority of people do nowadays: is you can take out your new class with Danger Close Pro, C4, uh, RPG, or like a thumper or something, and just spam grenades and explosives into the center of the tunnel, hope to get triple kills, and then. All in front of her is completely destroyed. <laughs> um, and I guess that kind of goes into the, some of the bad things about that game. And um, I don't really have to talk about this this much. Um, oh, and by the way, we picked up the large ember there, and the large ember will allow us to upgrade weapons pla uh, past the weapon, which will be very helpful for upgrading our scimitar to the weapon. But yeah, the, the game is just, um, I know that a lot of people hate Mono Warfare 2 because of that, but, I mean, really, there's, there, there's not that many people that do it anymore. Um, the main map, yes, I guess, that yeah, people yeah, need to on is please, Wasteland, you must and I guess if you get, uh, one or two, start out using it. Bad time. Um, I think the guns, mostly the Spaz 12, or as some people call it, Sniper Shotgun. And <laughs> if they renamed it to the Sniper Shotgun, I'd be surprised. That gun is literally a sniper. <laughs> put extended mags and maybe grip or extended mags and like FMJ or even just extended mags. Um, Thank you. Could probably use it as a primary. I would have been in supper without you. And I guess... Been eaten alive. I mean, they, I they, they, they can't really... Uh, Thank you. ...expect things like that to Thank happen you dearly. in different games. I am no um, You kind of have to... Or the great spot. ...like put it into the I game and then see what the community you. thinks of it. And if they think it's like really bad, like... Uh, I know when the game first came out, the Model 1887 was considered the sniper shotgun. Oh, hello. You could have Model 1887 Akimbo, and you could just snipe people from 
very, very far distance away. I think the Model 1887 had as much range as the Spaz 12 does today. Um, but then they nerfed it down, which I think is a really good thing because that mean or that shows that Infinity Ward is listening to their community and they realize that they made a mistake and they didn't realize that the Model 1887 was powerful. And when they figured that out, then they definitely got onto it. Uh, nerfed it and they reduced the damage by a lot. I mean, it's not, they didn't completely nerf the gun, which I really like. Um, it's, it's, it's one thing when a game, uh, when, when the community tells, when the community tells the developers that they don't like this gun and that this gun is like crap and uh, they don't fix it. Or they fix it so much that the gun is literally like unusable and nobody uses it past that point of it getting nerfed. And that that's just really sad though, because that pretty much takes it out of the And it doesn't make another shotgun extremely overpowered. Um, so we're just going to move on. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to talk about Mono for 3 because I'm going to be completely honest, I haven't played that game that much and I really don't remember too much of it because that was a very long time ago. And I know a lot of people are really frustrated with that game because it's a sniper shotgun, I guess. Um, and that kind of goes back to the fact that uh, there's there's two types of shotguns. There's extremely underpowered, and there's and in that game there's definitely one extremely overpowered shotgun, and that was the striker. But we're not going to go into that because I don't know too much about that. Um, I think the only thing I know about Mono for 3 is that the maps were kind of shitty. <laughs> um, but that is all opinion based. Um, and the other thing I know about it is that the MP7 was extremely overpowered and the Type 95 was extremely overpowered. But um, I don't really want to talk about that because, I mean, A, I didn't really use those guns. Um, I think the only gun I really used was the MP7. Um, and that was before everybody figured out it was extremely overpowered. But anyway, we're going to move on to Black Ops. And Black Ops, uh, the one major thing that I really love about this game, and that I think Treyarch did a really nice job at, or a really nice job doing, um, was the maps. And I think Treyarch always makes really good maps. Um, I remember World at War. I cannot remember any of the maps, but all I know is that I like that game because of the maps, and also because of the zombies. <laughs> um, well, I guess that kind of ties into it, because they made really good zombie maps. Um, they made uh, Dare Reese and Sheena Nemo and Interrupt and Nocturne and Doton, and a lot of people really like those maps, and I think they liked it so much that they brought it back for Black Ops. Uh, because I, I know you got if you got the hardened edition, uh, you got a code for the four original maps when they were released, and then they released it. They released the map that they covered, uh, Guns are, in my opinion, very nice, and there's not one really overpowered gun. I mean, there was when the game first came out, and that was the AK-74, and I think the FAMAS, uh, but the AK-74U kind of died down a little bit, and not that many people use it anymore, 
but I know for a fact because I was playing this earlier today. Um, a lot of people still use the phones, but it's not really that big an issue anymore because there's uh, there's like a, a counter for the majority of the guns in that game. And what I mean by that is, like for the FAMAS, there's a gun that can beat it. So, oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. And At least we both made it back unscathed. It's kind of like a 50 Incidentally, battle. would you care um, to learn any sorceries? Really guns, You're clearly talented, and, and besides, I owe you. High rate of, fire of course, we will require some materials, really but I am happy to teach you some um, elementary so spells. I guess it's kind of whoever shoots first Are you interested? the other person, or in some cases, Splendid. Connection. Very well. Yeah. I am pleased I to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. The fact that there's a counter for every gun. Well, I'm not really sure if it's for every gun, but for some of the more powerful guns, there's a counter for it. And that's a really good strategy that I think they... They might have intentionally done it, but I think it might have been a little bit more unintentional. Um, but my vision for like a perfect Call of Duty is... They... I know this is never, ever going to happen. Goodbye, then. You know, we can... Deuce. <laughs> um, they... Take a community poll, and they take the most played maps from COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, and Modern Warfare 3, and they combined all of those maps, they remaster them, they put them in HD, whatever they have to do, and they make them all into one Call of Duty. And well, I see you made it out. The favorite yeah, I, I made it out from, safely too. I have my all my romance is a great swamp, so like they'll take the, I can use the my for bit of care. Oh yeah. From Cod 4. By the way, uh, I can share my spells the... with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you uh, need is materials. And the I'll be pleased to help you. Two. Ah, I mean, there's unless you find the magic. There's gonna have to be other guns, but I'm just thinking of some of my favorite ones. Um, yeah, HS10 wonderful. I'm sure that the no, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, Stoner first take this. From Black Ops. And from Modern Warfare 3... A flame from the Great <laughs> Swamp. No now well, you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Yeah, they take... Well, let's get started right now. Games ...and they put them into one Call of Duty. And they kind of... Like a... I don't know what the game would be called. It's like a Call of Duty like collection. Or like the greatest hits. Um, and I think if they did that, then they would definitely make a lot of money. They could definitely get Call of Duty back onto people's favorite games list. Because I know after Modern Warfare 3, a lot of people got turned off by Call of Duty. And then when they heard about Black Ops 2 and how like, it was supposed to be futuristic, even though it's really not too futuristic. Goodbye then. Come back if you find anything new. stuff that they have in that game. Um, but yeah, if they... Um, if they realize that not every Call of Duty is bad, and that they can have one Call of Duty that combines everything together, a giant mess, a giant jumble of the great things from all the other Call of Duties, that it'll really stand out as another one of people's favorites Call of Duties. Because um, I know that if you walk into the world, and you go to the world, and you ask them, what their favorite call of duty is. I'm almost certain that two out of five to three out of five are gonna say COD 4. Mostly because that was the game that kinda got them started with Call of Duty, and that's the game that had the most like, balanced system. Because um, they had the 357 kill streaks, and that's. I, I, I like that system, but. Um, I do like the system that they put in the model game where the posters can recycle, so you don't have to die to get your posters back. Um, but I do like the 357, and I think if they, if they kept it at 357 because it was so, like, simplistic, and there wasn't too many choices, and they didn't kind of pressure, uh, different levels of gamers to, like, the lower level gamers, or the, the less hardcore gamers, I guess, um, could kind of stick to the 357 and they won't be punished by other gamers who are more skilled, who can get up to that 11 kill streak, who can get up to that 15 to 20 kill streak and get the really like, game changing kill streaks. Like, uh, Modern Warfare 2 is like for the really good players and, well, 
I used to don't really have to be a good player to get a new, but I, I mean you can just sit in the corner and can't lose your or something. Uh, but for the majority of the good players in Mono Over 2 and Mono Over 3, if you if you were a good player and you were very strategic in what you did and how you moved around the map, you could do well in the game and you could get some of the game changing kill streaks like the nuke, which uh, it's not a game changing, it's only a game kill streak. But the Moab in Mono Over 3 is a game changing. Um, if you're playing a team deathmatch game, it can get you a good uh, six kills, or if you're playing ground war, it can get you 12, and that'll definitely boost you up either to a higher lead or up to the other team. Which, I mean, it's a good idea. Um, I definitely like the Moab a little bit more than the Nuke. Um, mostly because the Nuke ends the game, and the Moab doesn't. So, if you get the Moab, you can keep going. Because, like, if you're doing good and somebody else is doing good, but they get a nuke before you, then you're screwed. <laughs> um, you're just kind of stuck at whatever score you're doing. And uh, with Mono for 3, if they call in a Moab, and um, you are kind of continuing, you can, you can continue after the Moab. I didn't even That's kind of a stupid aspect that they did. Um, mostly because I mean, not a lot of people are like, like I said before, there are some people who are casual gamers and um, if they don't do well in every game, they buy stuff. So like I said, they're not gonna be able to use the gun that they just unlocked until like two or three levels after they unlocked it. Um so yeah, that's that's kind of the the only really bad thing about that game. Um, other thing for, about that game that I don't like is connection issues, and it doesn't happen too often. But for certain game modes, like I tried playing Team Tac the other day, and sometimes you just can't get into a game, mostly because there's not a lot of people playing it. But the other reason you can't get into the game is because uh, there's too many host migrations, so people just kind of quit halfway through. But anyway, let's move on to Black Ops 2. Um, the only really good things, in my opinion, about Black Ops 2 is the game modes. Um, I definitely like Hard Point. I think that was a good idea to think of that. It's like uh, King of the Hill. Um, but the one thing I think... Uh, I definitely like that they brought back a lot of the other game modes, like King of Earth. I do wish that they could have brought back some of the stuff that came out of the action. If they brought that back, that would be um, But the only other thing I really like about that game is the zombies mode. But I do wish that there was more maps like Kino and more maps like Darius. Instead of uh, one giant map or three extremely small maps. Um, the three extremely small maps, you kind of have to play by yourself. If you play them, if you play with more than one person, it just gets really boring. You can't really do that much. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, transit's a little too big, and you can't really get too far. And you kind of have to have three or four people with you if you want to get far. But anyway, um, 
Yeah, the, the, I do like zombies. But if they definitely, if they included more maps, like Kino, that kind of had like a maps that you can. Those were very fun maps. Um, dominated game and it's I don't know I think that kind of ruins the game I hate when there's like in a Call of Duty like it could be a really good Call of Duty if they had balanced guns and the maps were a little bit better because uh, another thing about the maps is that it's the majority of them are just choke points and that's I don't know <laughs> um, I don't really like that that much I don't really think it's very fair to some of the strategic players in the game because people just sit at choke points and spawn track you. Um, but anyway uh, the other thing is connection issues and there's a lot of post migrations that happen um, but I'm kind of running out of time so I guess we can finish talking about this next time <laughs> uh, once again sorry about the audio crashing but I mean there's really nothing I can do about that Video. We killed Capra, got another Estus Flask, uh, upgrade, and next time, I actually don't know where to go. Um, probably to the depths and uh, Quaylog's domain. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And I will see you next time. Oh, and one more thing. The Doom 3 Let's Play is coming back. I just did not get a chance to record any, and I'm also trying to figure out what's wrong with recording software. So keep a lookout for that, because that is coming back. Sorry about the delay, and once again, thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.